Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. I don't often say uncle. I don't often give up. I usually plug away at something until I bend it to my will, until I make it work one way or another. But this Azola has, uh, this Azola has defeated me. That's all there is to it. Um, I don't know if you can tell how well you can tell in vid on video. Just the general appearance of this Azola, maybe if I go in a little bit tighter. You can just see that there's like a, it's like a patchwork quilt. You can see the dark spots in it. You can see that it's just, it has areas where it's starting to turn brown. And it's just not doing that great. I don't know, just like little, it's just little, and this is how it starts. Just little brown spots all through it. I've read all the literature that people have suggested, everything that they've sent. I, I fully understand that um, the, the nutritional needs of Azola, the growing conditions, and as far as I can tell, I've met all of those. This is, these two pits contain the Azola from the, the municipal nursery. They have no problems there. This is a brand new pit with fresh water from the well, which has been tested. And it's fine. This one had commercial fertilizer put in it, and that pit had the carabao dung put in it. And yet, the disease, whatever it is, is still coming back. It's still there. Now, I had said in a video that I made yesterday that I thought it was a worm, uh, because that was, a, that was part of the information in one of the videos, a video link that someone sent me. I looked carefully over all the rest of these pits, and that, that one worm was the only one that I saw. And I spent like 45 minutes uh, longingly staring into the Azola pits down that way to find another worm, and I never saw one. This is something that is, is too complicated. I can't get it figured out. It could be something, even these leaves coming off of these trees. It could be something in them. And falling in it. The thing is, is that these pits worked fine for the first three and a half, four months. They produced well, and once this sickness, whatever it is, got into them, it's over. I mean, the people are have all kinds of of suggestions, like maybe it's the tarp. Well, you know what? Everyone else is using tarps as well, and they don't have a problem. The people at the municipal nursery use tarps, and they don't have a problem. It's not the tarp. We use fresh azola, fresh water, fresh soil. The soil that was put in these was gotten from the bank. Um, I can't figure it out. So I'm ordering duckweed from, uh, well, there, I found three different sellers now who actually have some available. So I'm going to order some from all three of them. So we're going to switch over to duckweed. Because in my experience of late, I know that if we just leave this pit here and don't do anything to it, all this is old is going to be dead in a week or ten days. I don't know, there's no corn here for the silk or a fungus, the fusarian wilt, whatever it is. There's no corn here to get into these pits. The pits down there, people are saying it's shade. Well, there's, there's not enough shade. There's too much shade. No one knows. They're just throwing out guesses. 
it's well shaded down on that end down there. We haven't taken that shade down. And yet those pits have the same problem as all the rest of these that have died. These don't have shade, just like the municipal nurseries pits don't have shade. Um, I think it's just personal preference. People do it a different way. Some people swear that they have it has to have shade. Some people do it with no shade at all. Someone said that uh, the old worm pit, that Azola was doing great because it was under full shade under a tin roof. Well, no, that Azola is not doing great. It's all dead now. It's not a shade problem. It's not a soil problem. It's not a water problem. It's, I'm guessing, some sort of a fungus problem, which I can't get figured out. And all of those, all of that information that everyone sent me, there wasn't a single treatment. Well, I take it back. The, the one video that uh, Robert sent me, I guess it was from a place that raises Azola in Indonesia. They did have a couple treatment options. Um, one was uh, more fertilizer. Well, first of all, none of them specifically had this problem. Um, and the solution for the problem that, close, that, that most closely resembled what I've got going on here uh, was to add more fertilizer. I've tried that. I've tried adding more fertilizer. When we, when we did the test pits before, I used uh, fertilizer. In all these pits, the first thing that I did was add more fertilizer. Uh, long before we even started, long before we took the shade down from this area here, the first thing I did was add more fertilizer, and it had no effect whatsoever. Nothing I've done, and these pits are isolated. People, people are saying, uh, because the the water's running from into one pit and from one pit into another that it's carrying the contagion or whatever it is from one pit to another as you can see the the elbows are upturned on these pits uh, the water hasn't transferred from one to the other now I will say that in the beginning Tata didn't get the note uh, not to use water from this pit into this one. So he had drained about two inches of water uh, from one, this pit into this one. Regardless, the water that was in this pit in the beginning, all of it was from the well. None of it was from this pit right here. So even though these two pits are, are sharing a bit of the same water, um, it's not like it's being interchanged. It's just, it's just too, it's just too, uh, I can't put my finger on this. It's too much, it's too much like hassle. So we're going to, uh, we're going to keep what is all that we have and, and, uh, and uh, harvest it out and use it as, as we go. But I'm switching to duckweed because everyone says, everyone, has, many people have suggested that we go to duckweed because it's much easier to handle than Azola. It's much less susceptible to diseases or whatever. So you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. Because it's just not, it's just not turning out now. The, the brown rot or the black rot, whatever it was that they had in India, long articles on the problem and no solution the solutions that they suggested in the video that robert sent me um i've already tried i've already tried all those i've tried more sunlight less sunlight more fertilizer less fertilizer i've exchanged the soil i've exchanged the water i've used new water i've used new soil uh i'm over it so um, we're just going to switch it over. I'm just going to, uh, I'm not going to take this Azola out. I'm just going to wait for it to die. Um, and when the duckweed comes, then we will uh, clear out whatever's left in, in the whatever pits that we have. Uh, I know I'm going to have to pick one pit. 
The duckweed is similar to the azola in nutrition and growth rate. So it's going to be three, four, five kilos, whatever I can get online. Put it in a small container and let it replicate. Put that into a pit. And as it fills the pit, harvest it out into another pit. It'll probably take two weeks, three weeks for it to exponentially grow enough to fill up all these pits. It is what it is. I wish that I could find some locally, but no one has any. Uh, I've got to go all the way to Manila to get it. Or have it sent all the way from Manila. It's just, I mean, look at these pits. Now you can see in this one, even down there, the Azola down on that end is still sick, but it's greener than what is on this end, and it's the same pit. I mean, not only can I not figure out from pit to pit what the problem is, there's a difference in, in quality of the Azola within the same pit. It has the same water, the same soil, the same fertilizer, the same sunlight, the same everything. And, the, and yet the Azola down on that end in this pit is doing much better than it is down in this pit. It, it just makes no rhyme or reason. Patchy in this pit. This one's well on its way to dying. As is this one. This pit's almost completely dead of Azola. And yet, these several pits down. See, here's the thing. <laughs> this is what makes this so frustrating. Whatever it is, is so bad in this pit, all that Azola's dead. And in the pit right next to it, even though it's sick and not flourishing, it's full of green azola. And the next pit over, dead. Completely dead. So dead, azola doing marginally well, dead. Completely dead. Completely dead. Mostly dead. Completely dead. Some Azola still in it. Whatever, whatever variables are at work here, I can't get them figured out, and I'm tired of trying. So, duckweed, here we come. And if we run into problems with the duckweed, then we'll just put... Uh, I've had other suggestions on things to put in, Madre de Acre, Wolfen, um, sourcing those is even harder than the duckweed. Uh, if anyone out there, uh, I don't know anything about Wolfen, it's, a, it's another aquatic plant. If anyone out there knows of a link of someone who's selling it, uh, send it to me via email, that way I can scan it for a virus. Uh, links that people leave in the comments I never open. If it's something important, I'll just write it down and type it in. Uh, but that's a good way to get your... Opening links is how you get your account hacked. And how you let a Trojan in, so I never do it. So anyway, we're switching over as soon as we can. We're going to continue redoing these pits because something is going to grow in these. I'm not exactly sure which plant it's going to be, but something. So the Azola event adventure, one way or another, is going to come to a close. And it's going to be something else. 
Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.